So do you guys think that your personal exercise and, and, and things that you guys do outside of the business, do you think that reflects on your role within the business a little bit as well? Because I've got, I've got my suspicions. Like I've known a couple of ultra marathon runners and I know what sort of personality they are because um, it does take a very specific sort of person to be able to do that. And then, you know, likewise, Sam, you know, surfing, um, doing yoga, like those, those reflect a very different kind of skill set. So I can kind of see why you guys come together. But how does that play out in business terms for you? Big advocate of surfing teaches you like a million and one life lessons. <laughs> um, there's like so much frustration about it. There's so much practice and different conditions every day and a kind of so much to learn all the time. I think I definitely take um, a lot of that forward in kind of the the kind of the beginner's mindset and kind of you know not being afraid to try new things and all of those sorts of um, sorts of uh, cliches as well to drop in. Um, but yeah, it's kind of my main thing about the outdoor side of stuff is just it helps me switch off and to kind of recharge. And I'm you know a huge believer in the fact that you can't be glued to a screen all day and still be productive and still be creative and all those good things you definitely need that kind of balance in life of um getting away from a screen and being able to kind of have those creative moments which might happen at the top of the hill might happen when you're sitting on a surfboard out in the day but they very rarely happen when you're kind of bouncing from one zoom meeting to the next or you're stuck head stuck in a google spreadsheet or whatever it might be so yeah i think there's there's obviously um, a balance to be had there, but it, I've definitely found it beneficial for me. I was thinking about this the other day, actually, because I knew we were coming on here and I was thinking, I was out on a run and I was thinking about what's coming up in my diary while well, I'm doing a podcast, I was thinking about it. And I think trail running and like training for any big race, it's sort of almost a case study or a, yeah, a case study in what it's like to do any big hard project. Like there's so many analogies, like, chasing after a hairy goal is always hard and you need a plan you need you know if you're doing, thinking about marketing you need your marketing plan you need your content plan if you're thinking about running you need your training plan and you need the kind of tenacity to get back on track when that goes wrong because life will happen you'll miss a blog post or you'll miss a long run and I think like you need to get back on track and and just kind of believe in the process because I think you know your marketing is not going to be ruined by one blog post not being quite what you wanted your race isn't going to be ruined by one long run being not what you wanted. It's kind of what you do most days that adds up over the course of it. And you can't, you can never see that progress when you're in it. It's only when you look back and you go, oh, actually, here's where I was. And, you know, two years ago, I had five followers on Instagram and now I've got 5,000. But you don't notice you've added one this month. You, you notice like over the course, much or longer term. And the same is true with kind of those big running goals. You can't, when you're in it, you feel like you're making no progress it just feels hard you feel discouraged and it's the same with like big business projects you'll get to that point in the middle where you're just going what's even the point we should just give up um but you have to stick at it and work the plan and guess what training works marketing strategies work stick to the plan. definitely have it's, those moments with surfing as well where i feel like a complete fraud and i come on podcasts like this and talk about yeah i love surfing and it's like center of my life and then i go out and have like an atrocious surf and barely catch a single wave. Like, what am I actually talking about? And that, but then, like you say, you look back to when you first started out and you were just happy to be out in the sea, or like the fact that you even stood up once in like three months was a big achievement. You, that thing of like, let's step back and see how far you've come is huge. Absolutely. And I think you get, you go after like surfing's another, another kind of analogy of you go after, as you get better, you go after harder waves so you go out in conditions that are more challenging and more difficult and that's the same in business like the more confident you get you're going to go after bigger projects you're going to go after clients that are harder to win and so of course it's going to still feel hard but actually the the return when you do get it right is going to be bigger 